I've had a number of requests to put together a video on how to maintain your Workmate 425. And in thinking about this video, I realized the maintenance steps for the 425 is probably the same for many of the older Workmates as well. So if you own an older Workmate, uh, I think you'll find this valuable. So let's start at the top and work our way down. I've got a Workmate 425 that you see here. And this happens to be a Type 6. Now the Type 6 comes with a bamboo top. It appears that there may be some kind of sealer on here, but I don't think there's any kind of maintenance that I really want to do in terms of the top. I mean, I guess you could wax it or something, but I don't think we need to coat it with anything. And part of the reason I say that is I have an old uh, cutting board that's made out of laminated bamboo, and I've had this thing for several years, and I put it through the dishwasher I don't know how many times, and it's, it's not sealed, and it's still flat. So I suspect that this bamboo is going to last a long time, and I'm not going to have to do anything to it. Now, if you have an older Workmate 425 Type 3, you notice here you've got the particle board. I just picked up this Workmate last weekend, and I think what I'm going to do is next time I'm at a home improvement store, I'm going to pick up something I can use to uh, seal those edges. And even though the bottom appears to have some kind of veneer, I'll probably seal that too at the next opportunity. Now, now why do I say that? Let's look at an older 400 that I have. As you can see here, there's some swelling. Let's see if I can get that into focus. There's some swelling and some splitting on these two panels on the end. So that's one of the reasons I'm thinking about. Yeah, you can see the splitting right there on that one on the right. Yeah, if it'll stay in focus. Uh, so I don't want that to happen to my Workmate 420. 5 type 6 so I'm probably going to seal those edges in the bottom I don't know that I'm going to go into the dog holes unless the sealers are very thin because I don't want them to bind my uh, bench dogs periodically you want to come back and uh, tighten down the bolts make sure they're nice and snug on your workmate and so you have the, if you still have the thumb wrench that was supplied with your bench when you originally received it, use that. If you're using a regular socket or something like that, make sure you don't tighten it more than finger tight, especially on this one because you'll strip it. And it'll also make it too tight for this jaw vise to move back and forth. Because this is metal going into plastic on any one of these, you could literally strip it out. So just make sure it's finger tight. That's all you need for this to work correctly. So take a minute or two, go back and uh, make sure all your bolts are tight. I'm going to use my Workmate 425 Type 3 for the rest of this video because it's not black and some of the details that I want to show are a lot lighter. So the next thing you need to think about is all these little points right here that have movement. They're like little rivets or joins that you see here. And when I got this one, it was very stiff. I still haven't lubricated it yet, but I'm definitely going to go back and lubricate all of those. So set it on a side like I've done here. Put one or two drops on each of those spots that you see, and then let it sit for a few minutes. Afterwards, come back and wipe it off. Flip it over to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. I now have this uh, Workmate 425 Type 3 upside down on the floor as you can see. And I want to point out this little black plastic piece right here. See if you can see that well. And you can see where some of it's worn on the top. What you may want to do is number one, clean that off if there's any debris there. And then the other thing you want to do is maybe put some uh, petroleum jelly on it. So what I'm probably going to do is come back and put some petroleum jelly on each of those. I don't know that we really need to put any oil inside that little shaft that's going across. But one thing I have noticed about these legs is right in there, you can see where that little lip is. That tends to get dirty and keeps it from locking into place really well. So make sure you clean this off well. If you want, put some lithium grease or petroleum jelly on there. 
At the same time, you have each of these four legs have a little booty or a little foot. So check those out, make sure they're on nice and tight. And then if you come down behind each leg, there's another little boot or foot, black plastic foot right there. You need to check those out. Make sure they're on nice and tight. Again, as you can see, I'm using my Workmate 425 Type 3 in this so that I can contrast. The, the gray frame makes things show up a little bit better. But if you look in here, you can see this worm gear. I've applied just a thin, thin film of lubrication in there. And then I've cranked the handle up and down uh, to make sure it's spread. You could use probably some lithium grease. Uh, you could probably even use some petroleum jelly. But make sure you do that on both sides here. Okay. Now the other mechanism, I'm going to show you this little track up here. I'm going to show you on my 425 Type 6 because it shows up a little bit better on that on that bench. Now as you can see on this 425 Type 6, that white belt that's perforated is not on those little gears. So you need to make sure it's on those gears and follow the trail inside here to make sure it's in the correct place. I don't know of any way that it could come out and make sure you have it sit back on those tracks on both sides and what that'll do if that'll come into focus there you go that'll help you to be able to crank with just one hand while you hold, hold your work into place so make sure that's in place and uh, that white belt is not damaged another item you might want to check is this spring it's on the bench again I'm using the type 3 to show that because it's a lighter color so it might be slightly different on yours, but make sure that spring looks like it's in good shape. And of course, make sure you lubricate that joint as well. So I hope this video gives you some good insights into how to maintain your workmate 2425. And even if you have some of the older workmates, I hope it gives you some tips on what to do there. If you like the video, please press like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So I hope this helps you out and uh, good luck on your projects. Mm -hmm.